Well then, let's get started. Tonight a swarm of zombies will rise up and attack, so we're gonna reinforce this house with anti-zombie security measures. A swarm of zombies? We need a security system! Hurry, JJ! For today, our plan is to protect this house by using ten different security systems. Ten security systems? To kick things off, we're gonna use lava. Lava is super useful. It's the simplest, most effective security system there is. We just have to dig a moat around the house like this, and then fill it up. All right. It's digging time. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Let's split up to dig faster. Yeah, sure. Just like this. Great. Wow, protective lava is a really good idea. Yep, simple and effective. That's lava for you. It rocks. Amazing. There, that looks good. Right, that does it for the digging. Now all we need to do is pour in the lava. Okay, go, go, go! It's pretty simple. Simple but powerful. No one can get close. Right, no one will be able to reach us. We're ready for anything. Wow, impressive. Nice. That should take care of most of the zombies. They'll be driven off. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, okay, that's probably good enough. Awesome, it's good enough. We're all done? Our protective lava's complete. Next are the snow golem turrets. Snow golem turrets? What are those? You'll see, Mikey. You'll see. First, we need to build a few towers to hold our snow golems in. Maybe we can build them with stone bricks like these. Now then, we just need to add some trap doors. Trap doors? Next, we'll add in some snow and finally a cart pumpkin. Now it's time to put everything together. Mm. There's a specific way to put on the trap doors, like this. Nice. Then some more trap doors will go up here. Oh. Then you just carve out the middle of your tower. Huh? That looks strong. Now you can summon tons of snow golems. That's awesome. See this? Interesting. I want to try it too. Hmm. Quite a few golems. Finished. Our snow golem turret. Now you try. Sure. I think that's right. Like this? Oh, I get it. And now. Yeah? Lay down the blocks. Like that. Oh, okay. It's hard to place the blocks in the air, so try to crouch when you do it. That'll make it easier. All right. The impressive thing about snow golem turrets is that they throw snowballs when they see enemies. Awesome! So with this many snow golems, they'll bombard the zombies with their snowballs. Unfortunately, snowballs don't do any damage. They're gonna fight for us, though. Yep, they fight for you, so it's really powerful. They can hold off anything. I guess that means our snow golem turrets are finished. Now then, Mikey. I want to build a zombie capture device. We could probably use the captured zombies for science. Yeah! We'll use this hole to trap them. Let's build it here. Yeah, somewhere here. Sure. Now then, Mikey, we need to cover the hole with four trap doors placed like this. Right here. Right here? The next step is to surround the whole thing with redstone dust. Okay. All right. Next, we need to send a signal from down below. We can build it vertically, like this. Just like that. Great. I think that's done. Now... Perfect. It just needed a lever. Look! Amazing! When you flip the lever, they fall in the hole. We'll capture all the zombies wandering around above us. Hmm. If we lead them to the trap on purpose, we can intentionally push them in and capture them down here. I see it now. Wow! I guess I need to build a cage. Yeah, you do. Let's see here. We could build it with a stone fence like this. Yep, like this? Just like that. Nice! Yeah, you got it. Iron bars. All right. These iron bars. A cell. Whoa, 
These iron bars turned it into a jail cell. Oh, wow! Amazing! This is great. We can take out the zombies that fall in the hole. Yeah? And use them as our research subjects. Good idea. It's a great trap! Whoa, it's closed now. I feel so safe. Security system complete. Number three, a secret entrance. Secret entrance? Yep, basically it's just like a basement. Huh? Check it out. Whoa! Hmm. If we want to fight the zombies, we'll need to use this basement effectively. I'd like to be able to go straight into the basement from the outside. That's why we're installing a secret entrance. It's probably a good idea to build it outside of the moat. This area looks good. Let's start building our secret entrance around here. I think that maybe I'll turn this section here into a staircase. Keep on digging. Oh, I'll help. This should be deep enough. Nice. I'll keep going ahead. All right, now for the actual stairs. Awesome. Nice. This passage here... Yeah? Let's connect it to the basement. Hook it up. Over here? If I counted correctly, it should line up perfectly. Whoa! Check it out! It worked! Amazing! Perfect. Now then... We haven't made this entrance a secret yet. That's true. We haven't hidden it yet. Let's do that right now. The most important things we need are sticky pistons. Then we need some redstone dust and repeaters. I'll just clear this out. That's perfect. Now we can put these in here. Awesome. There we go. What's next? Oh yeah, now we need to attach some repeaters to the sticky pistons. Here's the first one. The second one goes on the second slot. Great. Next up. Interesting. That's how you set it up. Nice! Then you just connect it with the redstone, like this. Oh! Looking good. There, just like that. Good job! Now to use the redstone dust. Yeah? And then? Then we can have the lever right here. Okay. Just pull it. Ah, the last one didn't activate. I should reinforce the signal with more repeaters. Good idea. Oh! Now what? It works! Now we just attach grass blocks to cover all the sticky pistons. Whoa! Like this! That was incredible! Watch this! Oh! Whoa! We just cover the rest? Yep. Wow! Impressive! Uh, there's something not quite right about these three. Okay. Perfect. Now everything is working correctly. Wonderful! Now then, we just have to make the redstone circuit undetectable. All right. Like this? Just like that. Nice! Nice! Just lay it down and hide everything from sight. Okay. Can't forget this spot. Awesome! Oh, it works! Yeah, it's amazing! You can walk right in. We still need to make a lever so we can open it from the inside, too. Let's do it. Makes sense. How are you going to add it to the inside of the tunnel? I just have to lay down some redstone on the inside as well. Hmm. A lever will probably do the trick. Amazing! Whoa! Sweet! Whoa! It's finished? It closed perfectly. That's the best security. <laughs> there, our secret entrance is done. All finished. This was our third security system. Now we can get into the house using the secret entrance. But Mikey, 
in the unlikely event that our secret entrance is exposed, we should make an automatic equipment system to do it all at once. What? Is that actually a thing? It is. Let's build it. What kind of items will we need? Well, for starters, we'll definitely need dispensers and some redstone dust. Mm. Oh yeah, and a button. First things first, we need to set up two dispensers on each wall like this. Once those are finished, we should build one into the floor too. We need to have another dispenser that goes above your head. Then we need some redstone dust down here, and we can put the button somewhere on the side there. That's it. That's it? Yep. Huh? What's that for? Let's make one for you, just for Mikey. Let's see. Hmm. Like that. Oh. Then we'll add one on the ground. There, done. Now you just need to choose the six things you want from it. In my case, maybe I'll go with the netherite. Netherite armor and a netherite sword. One, two, three, four, five. I need one more item. I'll go with a golden apple. Nice choice. Now I just have to fill it up. Swords. There we go. I chose all mine. All right. They're here. Uh-oh. It looks like a lot of zombies spawned. So many. This isn't good. Oh, no. Let's go back. I think they see me. Hurry. Whoa. Will the snow golems fight? Hang on. There's a swarm of baby zombies chasing me. Run. Bring it on, snow golems. Stop the baby zombies for me. Cross the lava moat. Uh. Come on, JJ. Right, the lava. Nice. Are we safe? Why aren't the snow golems fighting? They're definitely fighting. They're knocking the zombies in. Wow, great security. It's time to run. Come on. Get inside. Oh, this is really bad. I'm opening it. The secret entrance. There. Nice. Let's go. Hurry. Shut it. Uh oh, some of them got in. They're inside. Here they come. Let's try this out. This is bad. Fire charges. It's so strong. Oh, that worked pretty well. Wow. That's super powerful. Yeah, I can't believe it. So effective. Are there more breaking in? I think you might be right. The fire charges won't last. There are way more zombies getting inside. More? It'll be fine. What? How? We still have more security. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Click. Yes. Me too. It's my turn now. Do it. It's my turn now. I'm eating the golden apple. Oh, nice transformation, Mikey. Close one. Whoa, netherite armor is the best. Mikey, do you think it's about time we tried out the zombie capture device? Oh, I forgot about that one. Quick, pull the lever. Will this even work? Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! So many! That's amazing. Great trap. Whoa, there's too many. Let's take them out, JJ. Wow, incredible. Look, they're all riled up. Well, it is zombie horde day today. Yes, finished. Awesome. We did it. Good job. Our security rocks. Uh, Mikey, this is bad. The zombie horde is getting in. Huh? This is terrible. How can there be this many of them? Oh, well, at least we're still safe for the time being. Uh-oh. Uh, this one's out of fire charges. No way. Hang on, Mikey. Hurry. Uh, come over here, quick. Here. They're breaking in. Get in the hatch. They're coming for us. That isn't good. Well, we're in our ultra-secure underwater shelter now, so we'll just have to wait it out until morning. Sounds good. Yep. I'm glad we made it. Yeah, me too. That means our 10 security measures protected us from the zombie attack. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye for now. If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Today, we're playing a battle royale game where the last person to survive is the winner. Last person alive wins? Yep. It'll be me. We're going to play a series of games, and if we lose one, we're out. Let's make it to the end. Mm-hmm. Both of us. I'll be the last survivor. Wow, so many people. Yeah, lots of contestants. Think we can make it? I'll be happy if either of us is the last standing. Round one. Wow, what's this? Let's go. This is the first stage. It's red light, green light. No way! Let's play. Is it safe to go? You see that girl? Mm -hmm. We can move when she looks away. Ooh. Oh, so fast. No fair! <gasps> uh. Some are still moving. The people who keep moving are being eliminated. No kidding! What was that? Is it safe to move? <laughs> this is scary. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
punched you? <laughs> I got punched and knocked down. I'm okay. Whoa, he's gone. Whoa! See, if you move, they'll really shoot you, so be careful. Can we even survive this? Let's try. <laughs> All right. Whoa! If we can! Oh! Oh! Close one! That was close. Go! Oh, no! <laughs> Mikey! Aw, uh, no good! Ah, I got shot! Mikey lost on round one! Oh. Oh. Whoa, timing it exactly is hard. Good luck, JJ! No moving once it turns red. You gotta win! Stay alive! Oh? Woohoo! I made it through! Ha-ha! <laughs> we lost Mikey, though. Nice job! There's Mikey. Shoot! <laughs> oh. Oh, Mikey. I died. It's not over for you, so do your best to make a comeback. I will. It'll be hard to win. Hmm. I wonder if I can survive to the very end. Hmm. Let's keep up this pace to survive to the end. Mm hmm. But now it's time for a break. Let's relax. Hmm. Let's sleep. I'm gonna sleep in one of these beds. Let's take it easy. Woo! I'll sleep here. I'm here too, right by you. You can sleep above me, Mikey. Mmm. All right, time to sleep. Hmm. Lay back and relax. All right. Somebody's here. Mm. Uh, hmm. Mikey, why did they give us baseball bats to protect ourselves with? I have one. Huh? Why? Uh-oh, hang on. It's dark. I think we're in trouble. Why? It's a full-blown battle to the end. No way! Seems like it. There's a fight starting. A battle royale. It's not an ordinary game. What? But an all-out free-for-all with our bats. Let's work together. Get as many as you can, Mikey. Okay. Ugh. What? It's light again. Be careful, JJ. Nobody's attacking me, though. Yeah, someone hit me. Oh, no. Leave them to me. Yeah, Mikey. Huh? Watch out for the blonde person trying to attack you from behind. Uh. <laughs> Watch out. <gasps> oh, looks like they're ganging up on people with the least help. Uh. No, that pink haired person's in trouble. Hey. <laughs> They got her. Uh-oh. These blondes keep chasing us. Run for it. Get away. You'd better run. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, run for it. Get to higher ground. Uh-huh. This should be safer. Oh, shoot. The person I thought was you came and attacked me. Leave JJ alone. <laughs> run away. Are we going to make it? 24 more seconds. This is scary. Let's stay near this person with the low health. I don't think they'll attack us if their health is low. No, wait, they're chasing us. 15 more, 14. Oh no, will we make it? Just a little longer. Uh... We're gonna make it, and my health is still full. Hm. I'm doing good too. No, that person might not make it. Oh. Whoa, oh. we survived. Whoa, very nice. Not many people left. Not many. At the beginning, everyone around us was dropping like flies. Like him, poor guy. Time for the next game. This is Hopscotch. See the glass panels on the left and right? Mm-hmm. One side is safe and the other will break. What do we do? Everyone's rushing. Uh, yeah, everyone. But why is everyone going? Yeah, why? The smart people are the ones who go last. Huh? Maybe they're all courageous? They keep going. I'm going too! Amazing! Our turn. Oh, we're the last ones. Everyone is fine with us taking the best positions? Oh, watch out! We want to finish in first place. Uh, even if I have to be devious like this. Uh, this must be the right one. Everyone, they're giving us the answer to which ones are safe. <laughs> they don't seem to want to move anymore. No way! <laughs> this is bad. Someone has to go. I'll go, JJ. Oh. I know what to do. Which way? I think it's this way. Ah! I got it thanks to you. <laughs> no way! Whoa, I did it. I reached the goal. Oh, impressive. It was all thanks to you, though, Mikey. I only beat it thanks to you. I died. Oh, only three people left. Still, Mikey, you should be able to recover. This is the final battle. No way! What now? For this last game, we fight each other with baseball bats to decide the winner. Really? Well, we said if either you or I win, we both win. Our goal was to make sure that one of us was the winner, which means all we have to do now is decide who the winner is. All right, attack! I won't lose to you, JJ! Whoa! <gasps> uh, what? What? 
Is that guard messing with you? <gasps> oh, we can't leave the arena. <laughs> no leaving the white outline. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Take this. Bam. And that. It's a duel. Bam. All right. It's really hard to hit anything with these. Bam, bam. Whoa. Ah. Take that. Ah, yes. Hey, ouch, I'm getting hit. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, I can't hit you. Gotcha. Ah. I did it! I took a lot of damage, though. You're strong. And we did it! I'm the winner! I lost. Yes, first place. Lucky. Still, the two of us took first and second place, so I'd say we achieved our goal. That was fun! What is that? Is it a pyramid? It looks like it's made of diamonds. Wow, I wonder what's inside. It's a diamond pyramid! There's definitely treasure somewhere inside. Want to check it out? Yeah, okay. I'm really curious. Let's go in. You first, JJ. Three, two, one. Open. Oh. What do you see? Hmm? Wow. Huh? Whoa! That's... Cool! Yeah. Treasure! Right there! It's gotta be something good. It's just hanging from the ceiling up there. How are we supposed to get to it? Mikey, do you see those three doors? Yep. A water door, a lava door, and a rifle door? Huh? I'm only guessing, but I think if we pass through all three doors, then we'll definitely get the treasure in the end. That's a good idea. Which door do you think we should choose first? Hmm? Well, Mikey, the water door is the only one with a lever next to it. Oh. I think that's the only one we can use for right now. So let's give the water door a try. All right. Ready? Open. Go. Oh. Hmm? oh. Whoa. It transported us. Huh. Where are we? I don't know. Oh, look. What? There's a target down there. Do we have to throw something? Not quite. Oh, the center of the target looks like a hole. I think we need to try and jump down into it. That doesn't sound easy, but I'll try. It's a tough shot. Oh, a chest. Maybe we need an item first? You think what's inside will help us hit the target? Yep. Let's see. All right, three, two, one. Oh. Glass? Glass. Uh, well, good luck. Let's see. Hmm? I've got it. Yep. I'm confused. Wait and see. Yeah. It's a diving board. It increases my chance of hitting the target. Now I'll jump down the center hole. You think so? Okay. Yep. Here I go. Wait, that's not right. Oh, I was close. Were you though? I thought so. I'll try again. Hmm. Hey, Mikey, can I try? All right. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Oh? Watch. Okay. Hmm. There. Uh, how is that better than my diving board? What did you, you do? You can have the rest of the glass, Mikey. Thanks. Instead of your diving board, I've lined up the ends of these blocks with the center of the target. You can see through the glass. So when I stand at the last block and break the glass beneath me, I should fall directly into the hole. Really? Let's find out. Careful. I can see that I'm standing over the exact center. If I break the glass directly under my feet, I should hit the bullseye. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh? Huh? Did it work? Whoa! Wow! I made it. Nice. Your turn, Mikey. All right. Stand in the center. Go! Nice! Whoa! Sweet! Your way is easy. It worked. And now... What's that? Huh? What is it? I guess... Is it? Uh, there's definitely something there, but... Huh? It looks... Pretty sus. Let's move in slowly. Carefully. Hello? You're going closer? Yeah. It's not attacking us. Maybe it's safe. It's fine. 
fine, JJ. It hasn't noticed us. Who knows what'll happen when it sees us? It's kind of freaky. Get closer. Woo. Whoa, hold on. What? It's attacking. JJ! Mikey! No! What is it? It's going after me. Ouch! Attack! Punch! Yeah! Yeah! Ouch! Hiya! Yeah! A little more! We can beat it! Stop! Two versus one! Oops! Sorry! Oh no! I only have two hearts left! Uh oh! No! Stop! Take it down! So? <gasps> we won! That was a close that one! That was scary! And dangerous! It was strong! What a fight! Mikey! See that chest? Treasure! Let's see what's inside. I'm opening it right now. Three, two, one. Oh? If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Well then, let's get started. Today, we're holding an anti-zombie security house building competition. Oh, to see who can make the stronger build? That sounds like fun. Yeah. That means Mikey and I are each going to work on building the most secure house we can to fend off a horde of zombies. Let's do it. I'll get started. Okay. I'll go this way. Well, let's find out who can build the better security house. I'm going to get started. First, I need to lay down the foundations for the house. I think I'll go a little overboard on the size of this one. Let's see. Hmm, 30's good. How's that? Okay, this is how big it's gonna be. Although it is pretty wide, I'll just make the whole thing bigger. Now I'll place the frames for my walls. I just have to follow the edges. Now for the corner. There we go. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now then, I wanna use a lot of glass in this build. It's gonna be awesome. I think this color's nice. I'll use the light blue glass for all the windows, like this. All right, nice. Just because it's a security house doesn't mean it can't have a cool modern aesthetic. Glass isn't the strongest material to build with, but that's why I'll be adding other security measures to protect the house from intruders. Really, the glass shouldn't be a problem in the end. Just like this. Yes, that looks great. That does it for the house's first floor. Next, I'll work on the ceiling. This'll only take a second. Yep, the roof is ready to go. I think I'll get to work on the entrance now. I'll put it over here. This is a good spot. I'm gonna make a hidden entrance. Let's see. First, I need to build something that works as a door. Like this. And then this part. Right there. Then this. Build this circuit. Yep, this is exactly what I imagined. This is gonna be the entrance to the house, but you can't tell it's a door from the outside. I'll use an iron button since it blends in so well with the quartz. It won't be easy to find the button if you don't know where to look in the first place. Now to cover the inside. Gotta fill that in. Should do it for this part. It's a super secret entrance with a cool hidden door. That should pretty much do it for the house part of my build. Now it's time to add some security to my security house. Our first tool for reinforcing is a personal favorite of mine, lasers. What's safer and cooler than that? This should be about right. These are important for a solid security system. A single zap from one of these bad boys and it's a full-on zombie barbecue. 
They should be perfect for protecting the house from zombies. I'll surround the whole place with a laser fence. Nothing will be able to cross through these. It's way too strong. Right there. Yes, last set. Here we go. All right, check these guys out. They're the best way to protect yourself and your base. Nothing will ever be able to get close. But still, I have a feeling this might not be enough. I need to keep adding to my ultimate security system. Here's another idea. I'll use laser rifles and energy cells as my next line of defense. All right, this goes here, and that goes there, then this on top. Yeah, nice. I've installed a laser rifle turret. Now I'll load it up with energy cells. This is a good idea. Nice, it's done. The ultimate turret. Time for a demonstration. Let's say a witch tries walking up to the house. The turret will activate automatically and start firing the laser rifle at the witch. See, it's super powerful. With enough turrets on the wall, the zombies won't stand a chance. They'll be fried before they know what's happening. With the huge horde of zombies coming, I'd like to be able to shave down their numbers as much as possible before they get too close to the house. Wow, this is awesome. Now for the entrance. I think I'm gonna switch out the turrets for something a little more substantial. Since this is one of the entrances to the house, I'll start by making a path leading up to it. One sec. There we go. This is looking good. Now there are no lasers right here. I'll make the turret much, much stronger. How about something like this? A nuclear death ray rifle. I have a feeling that'll do the trick. Now to set it up. First you place the weapon, then the ammo. There, all done. Now the perimeter is finished. I used lasers and powerful turrets to build a wall. That wraps it up for the exterior defenses. But I'm a bit of a worrywart. I want to make a plan just in case the zombies somehow break through. I think I have just the idea. I'll put some bodyguards on the first floor. In the unlikely event that something passes through the lasers, I want something to protect me. And another one? Perfect. Yeah, I think I'll build this next part using more quartz blocks. Let's see. I think I should probably place some pumpkin dispensers on top. There we go. Just like this. Now the last part. Is this right? Time to extend the redstone circuit. Hook it up. The lever goes on the end here, and when I pull it, it transforms all of these iron blocks into iron golems. They're super powerful bodyguards. If anything can protect this house from zombies, they can. Here we are. Hmm. Mikey's security house looks like it's all finished. So let's start checking out what he's built. Check it out. This is it. Isn't it great? It's pretty cool. To test it out, I'll start by spawning some zombies. Sure. You can act as my guide. Okay, leave it to me. All right, I'll go ahead and make the zombie generator here. There. Once this lever is pulled, the zombies will swarm. Then you try to fight them off using the security house you built. Sounds good. Can I pull it? Sure, go ahead. Three, two, one, start. Oh, this looks bad, Mikey. The entrance. It's closed. Pretend you're going in from the front door. Hurry! Over here? Oh, I see. You dropped the trap door. Yep. Gotcha. Isn't it cool? You parkour over here. Whoa! They're falling in! Into your lava trap. Hurry up, JJ. Over here. A pool. Follow me. Can you see the way in? No. Here, look. Hmm? This is the entrance. Ta-da! Whoa, I see the secret door now. Cool. Look, Mikey, the zombies are getting fried. Nice. Just like I planned. They're getting stuck in spider webs and can't get out. Okay, then. What's next, Mikey? To the second floor. All right. Up the stairs and open. Whoa, what a view. Wow, look at all the zombies. Do you have any plan on what to do about them? I've got weapons. Go over here and grab one. Oh, sure thing. Okay. Grab the bow from here and then... Whoa, that's wild! You shoot the zombies down below! I get it. 
When the zombies get stuck in the spider webs and can't move, you shoot them, like fish in a barrel. Exactly. It feels like one of those carnival games. Good point. Take that. It feels like there's no end to them. There's so many. Well, what now? Is there anything else? There's still more. What's this? Oh, it's a secret passage. Oh, really? It's kind of like an air vent, right? Follow me. Whoa. Wow, cool. This is kind of dangerous. What's that? Oh, Mikey, our house is still surrounded by zombies. No problem. Nope, oh, they saw me. This dangerous thing here can help us. What's it do? I see the gold block with an arrow in it. Put a lever on the gold block. Oh, I see. Don't pull it yet. See, I made this in case everything gets out of control. But, Mikey, I think everything is already out of control. JJ, just watch. Sure. After you pull the lever, do everything that I do. Okay. Ah! Hey, hurry up and pull it! Okay, I'm coming. Pull it! Hurry! Go, JJ! Oh, man, I need to get away. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Crazy. Some of the zombies survived the explosion. Still, that was really interesting. Okay, let's keep going, Mikey. We better run away. My security house was a bust. I even used my last resort. It's okay. Your last resort was a self-destruct mechanism, huh? That was a lot of fun. Let's run. Let's go, Mikey. Let's run to my place next. I'll show you my security house. I can't wait. Now I'm gonna show off my build. How does it look? It's huge! And so fancy! I'm really curious about how you made your security house. Show me around! Okay, get ready. I'm gonna start summoning the zombies. I'll be right behind you. But where's the entrance? Don't worry about that. Three, two, one, go! Run, Mikey! Get Yikes! inside the perimeter! Look at the turrets. They're shooting the zombies instantly. Nice! Yeah, that's awesome! Piece of cake! Look at that! Whoa! Uh oh JJ! They're breaking through! Oh, you're right! Let's go inside. This button opens the door. I'm right behind you! Whoa! Oh, it's not shutting! A few made it through! Don't worry, I planned for this. Bodyguards, go! What? No oh, way! They're attacking! I made iron golems! They saved us! Oh, nice! Now it's super safe inside the house. Look outside! Thank you. The zombies are fighting with the turrets. Wow, cool. Well, I doubt the zombies can get in here now. How are you, Mikey? My health is really low. I'm not doing well, honestly. Well, to wrap it all up, today, we both built our own anti-zombie security houses. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Here's the thing, Mikey. We're going to gear up in these, the world's strongest armor. Come on. Mm. Let's armor up. This will be awesome. Ta-da. Not only can we run faster, but we can fly. Are you serious? Whoa. Our defense is really high, too. This chest is full of other equipment, so help yourself. Okay, these all look really powerful. That's because they are. This sword has infinite attack power. Careful with it. This is a black hole. It sucks in everything it touches. Whoa, the armor stand. Check it out, Mikey. Whoa, no way. It blew up. That's it. We can beat anything. Now let's use all our equipment to slay the Ender Dragon. Let's do it. What should we do first? Do you want to look for diamonds? Sure. Check it out. See this pickaxe? You can change it into a hammer. Oh, awesome. I know. That's incredible. I could do this all day. We'll find diamonds in no time. Totally. Let's do this. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, that was a close one. Scary. Being able to fly saved us, but I can't believe we dug past the bedrock and dropped into the void. Any diamonds yet? Let's see. Here. Hmm? Oh, that was quick. I'll switch to my pickaxe. Mm -hmm. That way, I can mine these blocks more precisely. The fortune enchantment on this pickaxe is level 10, so there should be a bunch of diamonds that drop. Three, two, one. Whoa! Awesome! So many diamonds! I have 64! Here, take half. 
Today we're playing hide and seek. The rules are simple. If I could defeat the Ender Dragon without dying, then I win. If I can't beat it, then Mikey wins. Sounds fun. So if your health goes down to zero, then you lose? That's right. I only have one question though. Do you mind if I use some of the equipment I have in storage? Sure. What kind of equipment is it? I'm already good to go. Oh, you've got a sword. I'll just need a minute to grab my things from storage. Thanks. All right. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> now this is something special. I'll put on my armor. Oh, sounds nice. Here's the helmet. That looks so cool. It's glowing. My eyes are flashing. That's insane. I have a bunch of tools to choose from, too. Whoa, my armor makes me move faster. I should slow down. What an amazing sword. A shiny new bow. Here's a pickaxe. And a shovel. What's this, an axe? And last but not least, a hoe. Next up are some ender pearls. What are these? They look powerful. Then we have some endless stew to keep my health up. Perfect. Whoa, so this is my equipment. Awesome. Hey, Mikey. Yeah? How do I look? Wow, cool. That's awesome. Can I use it? Sure. It looks like a lot of fun. What can it do? I'll show you. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. Begin. Woohoo. You're too fast. Oh, wow. I have wings. Hang on. One sec. Oh, there's a village. Really? I'm here. No way. Look behind you. Here, Mikey. You're making me dizzy. I might as well test out this bow. Sure. It's a bow battle. I wonder who's stronger. Now I'm great with a bow. Ow! Whoa, check it out. Sweet. What the? No. Hey, what was that? This bow. It's so strong. Arrows rain down wherever my shot lands. Wow. This is incredible. No fair! I guess flying is second nature to me. This is nice. Still, I should find that village and prepare some food. Wow! Oh, there it is. Now then, time to see how powerful this hoe really is. What? Nothing special. Oh well. I guess this hoe is just a... Whoa! Cool! That's pretty amazing. It's tilling. Can you harvest in one hit? No, not for big areas of crops, but I'm gonna till the entire village. I have a feeling the villagers are really gonna appreciate it. Whoa, look how much of this I turned into farmland. That's awesome. What are you up to, Mikey? I'm far away from you. That sounds suspicious. Hmm? <laughs> Wait, where are you? I hit you! There! Huh? That's where you are. I'll get you. What weapon is that? Boom. No! Oh, check out my black hole! What's going on? It's everywhere! What's it doing? It's covering me! Is that it? <laughs> Whoa! It launched me into the sky! <laughs> the black hole did all that? Wow, what happened? No, oh, it sucked up a pig! These black holes are crazy! What? No way! Amazing! It's so strong! Woohoo! All right, it's time to move on. I'm gonna try out the pickaxe. This pickaxe is... Amazing! No way! Wow! It can clear a whole house in one hit! Uh, sorry for destroying your homes, villagers. Let me think. I should probably gather some wood. I'm gonna use the axe. Wow! I cleared the entire tree in one chop. I should take this to the jungle. Yes, I finally made it to the jungle. Oh, I guess I don't take any fall damage. Whoa, check it out. Mikey, this axe is incredible. It is? Even these giant jungle trees. They go down in one hit. Whoa, this rocks. Hmm? What's going on? Wow, amazing. I see something! No way! Yes! yes! I can't believe how much wood I have. It's more than I'll ever need. Yes! Hmm? There's Mikey! I got you! That's not a very safe place to stand. Why? Why? Because of this. <laughs> hey! No! What? How? 
Wow! Yes! What was that? Oh, I found a cave. Hmm? All thanks to you, Mikey. Seriously? Huh. I need to start looking for diamonds. Whoa, where am I? This pickaxe rocks. It's insanely powerful. Check out how deep I'm getting. Hmm? Uh-oh, I broke through the bedrock. Wait a second, I can fly. That could have been a disaster. Phew, lucky me. Uh... Oh, I found some diamonds. I better grab them. Wait, what's going on? First, I need to make a platform to stand on. Next, I'll change this pickaxe back to normal mode. If you look closely, it says Fortune X in the description, so it must be super duper lucky. Time to mine those diamonds and see what I get. Whoa! Ugh, what's up? Now I have two big piles of diamonds. Really? I have 128 in total. You're kidding! Look at all the diamonds. Lucky! Yeah. In that case, I should find some obsidian so I can get to the nether. Is there any obsidian around here? I just need to keep digging until I see some. Oh, I see lava. There's got to be obsidian nearby. There's water, too. I have an idea. I need to smelt this iron down. Now that I have a bucket, I can grab some water. I still need to find a lava pool, though. I'll check above ground. Whoa! It's almost nighttime. Where can I find some lava? Oh, I found some! I'll pour out my water. Whoa! Perfect! Now I'll mine the obsidian. Hey, guess what I discovered, Mikey? It looks like my armor is immune to lava. For real? No way! Yes way. That's enough obsidian. TNT? I missed! Uh-oh! Mikey! I'll get you! You won't survive this! Yes, you missed me! Go, black holes! I dodged them! Whoa, that's pretty impressive! Dodge! Ah, I fell! Good! Wait! It's raining arrows! Oh no! Phew! Oh man! That was a close one! Thanks to you, Mikey, I don't remember which direction to go! Yay! My plan worked! That way. Okay, almost there. Let's go. I'll try throwing another one around here. Go! Oh, looks like the stronghold is underwater. I better start digging. Woohoo! Silverfish. That must mean I'm getting closer. Oh, sweet. There it is. It's an underwater stronghold. Hang on a sec. I hope I didn't accidentally destroy the end portal. I need to be careful. Where are you, Mikey? Oh, I'm just killing time. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. Where am I going to find the end portal? I'll keep looking. Oh, Mikey! Oh, you found me! What's up? Nothing. Where's the end portal? Who knows? Wait, yes. don't go in there! Where is it? Oh, here! Uh-oh! I finally found it! Hang on! Hey! Stop! My defense is really tough. Lava doesn't hurt? Nope, not at all. Seriously? Whoa! If all else fails, I guess I'll punch you. Stop it! I need one more. Yes! Uh, hey, where'd you go? My own lava burned me! Mikey took himself out. <laughs> oh well, here I go! Yes! Made it! Whoa, it's time to face the end. I'll try using black holes to take down the Ender Dragon. I'll stop you before you can destroy the crystals! I don't think I need to destroy them. Why? Because I'll beat it in one hit. If you don't break the end crystals, the Ender Dragon will heal! Yep. I'm coming after you, JJ! I need to beat it before it heals. Look at my damage! The Ender Dragon is hard to beat! You're right. Maybe I'll use a black hole. What's oh, circling back? Now's my chance! Are you kidding? Slow down! You're winning too fast! Whoa! The Ender Dragon got sucked in! This is bad! Hold up! Stop it! Whoa! I did it! Do I still have a chance? 
the Ender Dragon disappeared. What? How am I supposed to slay it now? I won! If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. I love being on vacation. This cottage getaway was a great idea. I'm right there with you. There's nothing like a woodland retreat for a little R&R. &R. Mm -hmm. Check out the river. It's so peaceful. Hmm? Hey, JJ? Yep? Come quick! There's something over there! Oh yeah? What is it? I don't know. I can't tell from here. It's just a little too far away. Hmm? Hmm. Duh. Let's go see! Oh! Uh, Mikey, watch out! Ah! This isn't good! Get in the house! Hurry! <laughs> what was that? Just about the worst thing that could ever happen to us. What do you mean? We should stay in the cottage. Why? What is it? Take a good look at it, Mikey. That is a red ogre. What's a red ogre? They say if you look a red ogre in the eye, then it will spend a hundred days trying to capture you. No! You're kidding! However, if the ogre doesn't succeed by midnight of the hundredth night, it'll be the one to croak. So all we have to do is hold out for a hundred days. Do I have that right? Yep, that's the deal. We need to get away from it. We could make a run for it, but we'd probably have to find another way out of here. Yeah. Hmm. It's just waiting for us out there. What do you think, Mikey? Mm, I'm not sure if we should leave. Well, the good news is the ogre isn't coming inside. It's too big. It can't fit through the front door. That's lucky, but I wish it wasn't guarding it. I've got an idea! What is it? Since it's so focused on the front door, we could just dash out the back! It would never notice! Hmm, it is staying put. That could work! Hmm. Wanna go for it? Yeah! Come on! Follow me! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I'm right behind you! Ah! Ah! Get back here, Mikey! Quick! In the house! You can do it! <laughs> Good work! I'll lock the door. There! Phew! Did you see that? It caught up to us in a matter of seconds! It's so much faster than I expected. Look at it go! There's no way we can outrun it. Oh. Any other ideas? Hmm. Let me think. There must be a solution. What's in this room, JJ? Oh, it's just the bedroom. Hmm. Huh? No way! What? Take a look at this! Whoa! A drill! Hang on, that gives me an idea! Yeah? We should use the drill to build a secret escape tunnel! It can't chase after us if we're hidden underground! That might just work, Mikey! All right then, let's get digging. We have to pick a spot where it can't see us, then we can make our escape. How about over here? Yeah, that should work! Here goes! First, I'll make a hole in the floor. There! Now I'll make it wider. Good idea! Alright, time to get tunneling. Can you make sure we're in the clear? Oh, worse it. It definitely can't see us. Whoa, this is gonna be one professional looking tunnel. You said it! <laughs> wow! Impressive, huh? Yeah, we're definitely making our getaway this time. Look how fast we're drilling. That red ogre has no idea what we're up to. I think this is far enough. Let's start digging our way back up. There we go. Whoa! Hold on! No! You're kidding! It was waiting for us! How did it know? Listen, this plan isn't gonna work. So what do we do? Let's head back to the house. Hey. If we can't run, then we need to fight. We have to slay the ogre. How are we supposed to do that? It's so strong. Come upstairs. I've got something to show you. Hmm? Check this out. Check what out? If you look carefully, you'll see a hidden door. I was afraid something like this might happen. So I installed a secret room and stocked it with things we might need. That's amazing. Come see what we've got inside this chest, Mikey. Ta-da! We've got revolvers and grenades. To be used only for self-defense, of course. Whoa! 
Might as well take this other stuff with us, too. I bet we could take down that ogre in one shot! For sure! Thanks to our trusty revolvers. Why are there diving suits here? Oh, <laughs> you noticed them, huh? We might as well take them, too. Better safe than sorry. Good thinking. Don't we'll need them, though. I also grabbed the TNT and all the other stuff, just in case. <laughs> Already wearing the diving suit, huh? Lol. Now let's slay this ogre. You really think we need the TNT? Like you said, better safe than sorry. So, where'd that ogre go? Get it! Did it leave? Well, I don't see it. What? There it is! Right below you, Mikey! Lost it already, JJ! Don't worry, I'm on it. It doesn't stand a chance against my trusty revolver. Take that! That should do it! Oh, it's coming for me! It shoot it, Mikey! We can't slay it this way. Our guns aren't doing anything. <gasps> Time to crank things up a notch. If our bullets won't do the trick, then our grenades definitely Chuck will. Ball. Take that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Whoa! I'm out. And they can not leave a scrap. How is that possible? It's hopeless. It's too strong. What are we going to do? I don't know. Even if you attack a red ogre nonstop for a hundred days, it won't die. What? Couldn't you have remembered that sooner? Well, we can't change the past, but we can come up with a new plan. Mm -hmm. So we tried running, and we tried slaying it, but neither of those ideas worked. Right. So let's try staying in the house for a hundred days instead. Great idea! The ogre can't fit through the door, so we can just wait him out in here. Then, when his time is up, he'll just give up and disappear. Yep, just a few more hours. We may have gone a little overboard food-wise. This is all we have left. One piece of cake each. I'm gonna eat mine. I'm a little hungry, believe it or not. I am too. We're officially out of food, but that shouldn't be a problem. As long as we survive, the red ogre should disappear at midnight. Midnight can't come soon enough. No kidding. Tomorrow, we can finally live without fear. Now, I'm gonna go down and check on that annoying ogre. I haven't seen it in a little while. Well, what's it up to? Is it gone? Oh, nope, there it is, right by the front window. And it looks so discouraged, like it knows its time is almost up. It's a total goner. We just need to wait for the stroke of midnight. Then its reign of terror will officially be over. It'll fade away like a bad dream. <laughs> this is almost too easy. Huh? Yeah? The ogre broke into the cottage! <gasps> run, run, run! Where? Just jump down! Ah! What do we do now? This way, Mikey! In here! Quick! Uh, okay! There's a secret passage! No, there isn't! Yes, there is! Right here! Oh! Follow me, Mikey! Up the chimney! I'm coming! It's so strange! Why did the ogre wait so long to bust in? Want to know what I think happened? I think the ogre got serious! It took so long because time's almost up, and now it has to go all out. <sighs> At least we managed to escape. Yeah, for now, anyway. Hmm. That wasn't so bad. Uh, you gotta be kidding me! What is it? Hang on. I can't believe it. The number of red ogres just keeps going up and up. For yeah. real? How's that possible? Uh, they're multiplying even faster than before. Okay, stay calm. We'll be fine. All we have to do is stay on the roof. They're too big to fit through the chimney, and that's the only way up here. I'll admit that they're scary, but we can just wait them out. Simple as that. You're right, Mikey. It's way too tight a squeeze for them. Hmm. Loosen up, JJ. Hmm. We're safe. I don't know. Take a deep breath. We're going to be all right. <sighs> No! Oh, no, stop that! What's wrong? Uh, they lit the house on fire, Mikey! Yeah, I see that! So what do we do? Ah, hot, hot. Let's put on our diving suits. Already done! This whole place is gonna burn to the ground! So we can't stay here because of the fire, but we can't go down because of the ogres! It's over! We're out of options! No, we're not. I 
just remembered something. What? We still have all this stuff. What stuff? All of this, Mikey. Oh. Okay, so we already have our diving suits on. Good. Now to make something from this stuff. Whatever it is you're building, you better build it quick. Line these up. Some more over here. What are you making? Don't worry, you'll see. Just leave it to me. These in there. There we go. Tell me, tell me! All you need to know is that we're gonna be okay. Okay. Almost done. Last one. There. So, remember all the stuff we had in the storage room? Well, I'm so glad we brought it with us. This is our ticket to safety. Now that there's water, I just gotta line the tops here. Ooh. There. Now to finish it off with a button. So this will help us get out of here? Yeah. You want to know a fun fact? Sure. Red ogres can't stand getting their face wet. That's why... Uh-huh. We're going to dive underwater and wait them out. Oh. This is how it's going to work. We'll use the TNT cannon to launch ourselves into the river where we'll be safe.